Hey, okay, so if you're looking for a stack and dimes video, here comes your wrong face. $50 a roller to um, do my boat trailer. So, this is one of those burn your hands. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> anyway, parents told me never try this. Oh! I cut all this, made these plates. I don't know if you can see them. Squared them out. They're not even square. <laughs> but they're square enough for what I'm gonna do. It's a little good tack on this. See no stacking dimes in the video. Of course, my welding helmet. Batteries run dead. So let's check this out. That's what a grinder is for. <laughs> now I'll weld. Now that it's all tacked down, I'll start here and I'll go all the way around with a new stick, right? And then I need to attach this to the skid ramps on my boat. Flip it upside down here, I'll show you what that looks like. Like I said, 
said, this ain't no stacking downs videos. Is that you better I know how to use a grinder video. So let's see what I got here. I'm gonna mount that like right there. Like so. Paint it, bolt it in. But those rollers are like 50 bucks each. It's ridiculous. Go to Boater's World and it's like, no, it's like a prostitution ring. They're off screwing you. But anyway, just made the second one. I gotta finish that weld you saw. And it's kind of a progression. Just need to bolt this onto here now like so it'll sit at an angle so when I launch the boat and bring it back I'll be on the skids instead it's all barney pipe I don't think I put a tape measure on this yet again if you're looking for a stack and dimes video you come to the wrong place this is a
skin is going to be suntan like hell. Touches, it's gonna melt through. Key is I'll throw it splash it in the water now. What do we got? I got to lift that thing. It's not touching any cords. So oh come on, there's gotta be something here. How about this is a piece of angle iron, but it's made out of stainless steel. Like a chunk of cost an arm or leg. Find on the roadside and it's nothing. Now let's get this cut up. Find a water fountain. went home. So this is where I came up with. Like I said, this wasn't a stack and dimes video. Those are some good wells and this is pretty thick. It doesn't really have to do much. So now, I just spray down some caliper cleaner. Get that to dry. Then comes the paint. sun for a while and dry. Painted everywhere inside and out. Looking for a, some kind of rust coating. Last part two. Now I gotta mount them to the front of the ski. 